For your dog to be successful in its gun dog training, it must have its basics. It must retrieve to hand, retrieve to place on a check cord. Some do it naturally. And then it must be compliant on here, heel, sit, place on a check cord, on a leash. And oftentimes clients will call after month one and ask, you know, what's my dog doing? Well, it's doing its leash work here, he'll sit in place and it's working on retrieving to place. They'll call two weeks later, same question, same answer. And it's understandable they want to get to the fun stuff. They want to get to the gun work. They want to get to the bird work. And there's nothing wrong with the dog being introduced to some birds, but not a heavy diet of it. It needs to be on a heavy diet of the basics before it can get to the fun stuff. And if you bypass the stuff that's kind of boring, the basics, then it's unlikely that you're ever going to get to the fun stuff and be successful at it. If a dog is not going to be compliant, basically at your feet, uh, when it's on a check cord, uh, on its obedience, on its retrieving to place, then it's unlikely to impossible that it's going to do those things when it's out of your control and off the leash or off the check cord. So be sure when you're going through your training that you that you get through the basics. You make sure it's proficient and it's here, he'll sit in place in its obedience side, and then it's retrieving to hand, retrieving to place on the retrieving side. And once you get those two things down, as long as it takes, don't rush through it, then you will be successful and you will have a dog that you can be proud of. But I can just about guarantee you that if you skip those things, try to rush through those things and really not get them to the level they should be, a, really a standard, then you're never going to be successful in the, the funner parts of training. And again, you're not going to end up with a dog that you can be proud of and you're not really going to be successful in your training.